Hello, fam. How are you? I know I look a little yellow. Um, I have a different type of lamp right here. Um, and I just wanted to pop my head in before we go into our DIY. Now, tonight is truly going to be abstract because I have um, an idea of what I want, but not sure how it's going to transfer down since I don't have like a blueprint of what I want. I have a uh, mock, mock drawing of what I'm looking to get, but I don't know if it's going to happen that way or not. Hello. Hey, Keona. Oh, you strong, you decided to come in? <laughs> That's my granddaughter. <laughs> she had to go downstairs. So she on the computer downstairs. But yes, um, so as I was saying, it's going to truly be an abstract piece tonight because um, it's only going to be one because it's going to be a large piece. Hi, Cassandra. Um, it's going to be a large piece. So I am going to um, get into what we need. So I'm going to move you up here where the uh, where you can as an overview of the supplies so we can go through them All right quick like let me get y'all untangled first. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn this light away from that mirror. You won't get that glare. Okay, that's better. Okay, guys, so let's start with supplies. Now, let me say this. Your supplies may be different from mine because you may have a wall that you want bigger, um, um, bigger, a bigger piece and then you may have a wall that you need a smaller piece now um as y'all know i'm finally decorating my house room by room and i have the living room what well, the family room done well the living room the formal living room is the formal living room it you know it don't have anything fantastic it's my husband taste in furniture not mine so um the formal living room and the formal dining room is already finished and i finished the family room i did two rooms upstairs the gold and white room and then the purple and um silver room but my gold and white room let's just say i'm so Has frustrated. Um, my son has been in there for a little over a year, and in that time, him and his son has pretty much, you say, destroyed my room. So when they leave, and I pray to God it's soon. Um, I hope pray to God it's real soon. Y'all pray that he get financial blessing, that he can go ahead and get this down payment on this light bill, so he can go home. Um, and so when he leaves, I'm going to have to revamp that room again. But, anywho, let's get back to this project. And I'm working on my room now. See my new floor I did? I know you can't hardly see it. Let me turn these over. But my new floor, I did it myself. I did my hallway. This, I'm doing my whole upstairs. My whole upstairs that had carpet. Anywhere that had carpet is getting this right here. And so I'm going to start on the gold and white room soon. Soon, soon, soon. Because I got the materials for it. But now I'm too good. Okay. So like I said, I want mine rather large. And what I have in my head is not to have um, cardboard like this or anything behind it. I just want the mirror 
and I'm going to have lights behind it. So therefore you need some lights. I got some string lights. Um, you will need something to help you get your um uh -huh, I'm Kiona, I'm I'm live. You will need something to get your mirrors out of the casing. As I said, this is a Dollar Tree um, project. And believe it or not, every mirror that I'm using came from the Dollar Tree. Every, every one of them came from the Dollar Tree. All the sizes and everything. Um, so, let me tell you what I have. I have... These eight eight inch mirrors, Dollar Tree used to have these. They had these before. They had these these right. They had these large ones before they had these right here. So um, I'm, you're not probably going to be able to find these at Dollar Tree anymore. But I I do know Hobby Lobby carries this size mirror, and then you can order off of Amazon. You can get a whole. 10 of them for less than $10. So that would be less than a dollar. Yes, ma'am, Kiona. So um, I have several of these. I have four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these. I have five of these small, these, these size. I have three of the round candle holder ones. And just to throw some, I love you too. Love you too, ladybug. Um, and just to throw a little bit of something in there, I have four of these octagon ones. Now, okay. I have some of these. I think it's, let's see, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, eight of these. And I think they look like three inch mirrors and they come out of This suction mirror from the Dollar Tree has two suction cups on it. So I got those from the Dollar Tree. Then I have, I had three, but one broke when I was getting it out. I have two of these, and these look like they are probably like a 2.5 because they're not too much smaller, too much smaller than the three inch one. So this is a two by five, 2.5. And they come out of this mirror from the Dollar Tree. So, I actually, I got three of these. So, I'll have four. I took one out to show you how to open it. And then I have, um, let's say, more than 10 of these mirrors right here. And these are probably one inch, I think. Probably one inch. 1.5, something like that. And I got these out of... Oh, MG. I, oh, no, here it is. I guess I opened all of them. I got it from this compact. Now, the Dollar Tree, I don't know if they still have the double one, but this is the double one, the one that has a large the magnified mirror and then the other one. So this right here, I get I got two for one, so this is like two for a dollar. So I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. And I used a heat gun. Um most of the time I have two of these. One I have from boot camp and I still have it. And then this one right here is my pink one. Um so this right here came in real handy. I will say if you have a heat gun and you're using it, um, be careful on what you use it on as far as the space 
because you don't want to burn burn your flooring or anything to that nature. I had these. Oh, me, I'm sorry, guys. I had these, one of these um, right here, the white one that I use all the time. And um, it has some scorch marks in where I held it too long, but um, I'm right here. So I will say be careful with this when you use it. Um, if you have a better way of getting them off and or a safer way in, in getting them off, then I recommend that. You're going to need some hot glue gun, hot glue sticks with your hot glue gun. I am not for sure if I'm going to join in the back. These are the large ones. I don't know where my small ones at, so I'm going to have to cut them if I decide to. I'm doing, I want to do more of a floating style kind of thing. So I want to put these right here in the back of them to use as the floating, like they're floating off the wall. So that's what I want to use the the um the napkins for. I have um a large long ruler. I have a short ruler. No, no, the yardstick ruler is, is the only piece of well, it didn't come from the Dollar Tree, but you know it's a it's a thing. I have some um cardboard scissors here, some regular scissors. I have. Walmart, I mean not Walmart, um, Dollar Tree's fix all adhesive. I have um, a, what you call this thing? You know what it is, guys. Y'all know what it is. I Right now, I got a brain freeze. So I have that. And I have a pen just in case it has to go in a different direction. Some tape. And I got some push lights so you can actually see what they look like. Um, I wish I had the, uh, um, uh, like I have, I, I made some, um, I made some night lights and they have, Dollar Tree had motion sensor lights back then and I have motion sensor lights in those. I wish they had some of those and I could have put them in the, uh, on the back of it and when it got dark, it would light up. So without me having to, um, plug it up but anywho so now you are not going to I don't think you will see me let me see if I can get it where you will see me maybe if I just work from the side way like this I can see y'all every once in a while okay so the first thing we have to do is get all our mirrors out of the casing. And like I said, I was this I use this right here. I use it for a lot a lot of stuff for painting, glitter, some everything. And I just use it until um it gets to the point where I can't use it anymore and then I just throw it away. And so the first thing we're going to do, I left one of each mirror basins. So I can show you how I got them out. I will say this, I will apologize in advance that this is going to be a little bit loud. because of the, the gun, heat gun, but I'll save those three for last. So the, this, the regular round one, and I mean, octagon and the, the round one, all you have to do, they come just like this, so you don't have to do anything to them to get them ready or to prepare them. So you don't have to do anything for that. Um, these two right here from Dollar Tree, very simple. Um, Y'all seen them plenty of times before. Um, you just pop this out in the back. Go around. Sometimes the mirror is stuck. Sometimes it's not. And you just pop that out. And I'm going to go ahead and 
I don't know why I didn't have the rest of these un, undone. Right. I'm going to try to work fast because the project is not a hard project. It's just um, a, a strategic one where you want to place things at to make it look right and to balance everything out. I'm trying to keep these mirrors upside down so they won't blind you and keep them in somewhat of order. So how was everybody's um, weekend so far? Um, I'm doing Keona's pair. She has two more sections that has to be finished. But she, they leave in the morning to go home. Because everybody starts school on Monday. And Oh, I want to tell you about this right here. How do I come back this to the stickiness. Because, of course, if you just opening, of course, if you're home, you can get it off. But me, I, I hadn't had time to get it off today. So, um, I'm going to show you how I deal with that. Trash box. I miss these mirrors. You know, everything in life is like everybody wanting to get richer and richer. They they give you less and less for what you work so hard for. And then, um, I I know now I know we don't talk um, politics here, but I just have one question to ask. I know it's some Donald Trump, um, follow, you know, followers or believers. Or, you know, that, you know, uh, follow him. But you have to be honest. Be honest. Do you think he is being fair with this postal service stuff as far as people absentee balance being um, not counted um, because they won't make it in time? Do you think he's been fair? Um, do you agree with him? Why? Now remember, this is just your our opinion. It's not anything for anyone to get mad about. Um, everybody has an opinion, and um, we need to, you know, expect respect their opinion and respect their beliefs. Uh, I don't, you know, I have friends that that are true Donald Trump believers, and me personally my personal my personal opinion my personal opinion is that he is not professional enough to be a president now he may have some good ideas or whatever that he comes by but his delivery on things and the way he present himself is to me is not professional so um i can't respect somebody that don't respect the office. All right. So the next one we're going to get open is I'm going to open the suction one. I like open this one because this one was like a the it melt when it melted it melted in a funny way. So remember I said this is going to be a little bit noisy. So if it get too noisy for you, mute it and then come back. Um, when you see me stop, stop doing this. And I'm just holding it right here. But yeah, come on y'all, chime in. This is our one opportunity to talk about politics open and open and up here oh guys and don't forget today is the last day for, to enter into the giveaway the 50 50 000 
subscriber giveaway and it's the um it is the cricket mini with several um items come on Some of these spots have like a little, uh, it's not a suction up on it there. It's like, I don't know what to call it, legs. I'll just call them legs. And if you get it right on that leg, it, do, it doesn't want to melt. Like, you see how it's melting? Now a couple of them was stubborn like this, and it would it would be the fact that the one that I'm showing as a demonstration would be. But like I said, if you don't have it this way, Angela. Okay, the only thing that you have to do for the giveaway is like this video, subscribe this, uh, subscribe to the channel. Go over and subscribe to my granddaughter's channel and like the last video that she has posted. And then um, down in the comment section, um, tell me what you would like to see from our channel. What type of DIYs would you like to see from our channel? And that's it. So if you know some people that want uh, a cricket and want to start off you know start off small with the cricket mini to get to learn it and see if it's something that you're going to enjoy doing then this will be the ideal time for you to get one and and not pay anything but your uh respect and your um enjoyment of the videos that i put out This one right here, it's just, it, it's just one to act all the food. It, it really won this five minutes of fame. Yes, there's a link to our channel. It's the first, um, it's the first thing that's when you open the description box. Her channel is the first thing that you'll see, if I'm not mistaken. That's those suction cup things I was trying to tell you about. I'll show you when I get it off. Look at that baby, it's hot. See those little... Mm. Let's get it like this. I think I need to hold it right now. See, they have these little black, they have these little black things in there right there that was holding on, that holds on to them. So if you, if you try to start melting right there, it'll take longer because it's more plastic to um, go through. So just be um, my, mindful. And then you could keep the suction cups for another DIY. Let me move this over here so I can cool off. And then we're going to go with this one. A little handheld one. This one you could just pretty much go right around in here. You know, I wish this, I wish this would at least would have came out smooth because I could have used it as um, a, um, a mold for resin. I, that would have been a good DIY to try. 
so you wouldn't have to buy molds, but they burn. And this one should just fall right out in a second. Really? Come on. I don't understand this. So now I'm doing the same thing I did to the black one. I'm melting the sides down. And this one was so easy to come out before. It was like one of the easiest ones and it just fell right on out. And now it like it doesn't want to come out at all. At least I got a handle on this one. Now this one still fall out. You just have to find where that um that glue spot is on this one. And there we go. That's one half. So now we have all of our mirrors out. And the mirror that you cracked, put it, put it aside. And I have a DIY that should have it should have loaded before we even came live today. Oh God, my foot is asleep already. It should have, but it didn't. So um, it'll be it'll be posted sometime soon, cause. I made, I did, I did, I, I, I got a DIY that I showed you before the next one that we post. And because I'm melting these right now, only thing I'm doing to uh, take the, the glue, I'm putting a little piece of um, paper towel up there to take the stickiness away. Oh yeah, thank you, Angela, yes. I'm making an abstract wall piece. Use an all Dollar Tree mirrors. And if you don't believe, every last one of these mirrors came from Dollar Tree. If you came in late, just go back to the beginning and watch and you'll see exactly where, what they came out of. And I'm just covering this up. Now we're ready for the fun part. Okay. So I am going to put all my mirrors in order from smallest to largest. This leg is gone. It's gone to sleep. Like, 
there's no tomorrow. Okay, so these. I think it's these two. This is as wide as I'm going to get it, as wide as this, and then I'm just keep going down with it. Okay, now I just wanted that balanced right there. And the reason why I added these, because I said these could fit up in more places because of the way that they're shaped. Okay, we're getting to the point. Oh no, 
You're still there. You're still the same. I feel like something needs to go right here. I don't think you guys can see that part, and I'm sorry. I'll pan it. Yeah, that's all. Now, some of them I think I may have to put the stick behind, but for the most part. And as you can see, I'm using these smallest one as fillers. Trying to be mindful what I have some of them at because I know I don't have that many of oh, so. Oh, guys, so, uh, it's, let me see how long it is right now. I would say right now it's at 38 feet. So this is three feet right here, and this, and I want it to be long. Let me get the broom so I can see. This room is right here on the wall that I want to put it on. So I need to go to the end of this board and then it'll be long, long enough. Got to go to the edge of this board. from here guys
two, three, four. I think this one should go right here. Okay, guys, this is where I need to be, right here. And I have one of these left, uh, one of these left, and one of these left, two of these, one, and two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together because I know it's going to take a minute because I got the glue and I got to hot glue and um, regular glue it down so that it will stay and I won't have any issues with it. And I really want to just turn them over where, they, where they're at and do it like that. So I'm gonna turn all of them over, right in the position that they're in. So what, what do you guys think? Do you think it is abstract enough? Does it look okay to you guys from where you, from your bandage point? I see you didn't see, I'm gonna slide it back so you can see the full. And guys, I were I was gonna do this a different way, but I was like, you know, I'm tired of having to use all the frames and everything, so I wanted to try something different. And um, I was going to uh, try to make frame have frames for everything, and I was going to paint it my exit color, which is teal, and. But I decided against it at the last minute. Well, not the last minute, but I know it's hard for you to see. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. Dang. And I know you're trying to figure out, well, how are you going to keep it together? And like I said, I do have the sticks that I can put behind it. I just have to be careful where I place them at 
because I don't want them to be seen. Now guys, once again, if I don't finish this on camera, I will continue to, to record it or I will continue it and then post it. Um, it is going to have some more to it because like I said, I want to use all these mirrors. I want to use all these, but for now, I'm just trying to go ahead and put it put it together so you guys can see it move so I can move it in one piece so all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hot glue the pieces together Now, everywhere you see me put um, hot glue is also where I will reinforce it with um, the sticks if I if I have to. And also, if I were you, I would use Gorilla Glue sticks. Um, I, mine's are downstairs, so I'm using Walmart brand. But I will use Gorilla Glue Sticks. And another little tip. If you want to put some another hot glue thing in, just stick it at the bottom of the thing. And And as you can see, I'm trying to have each each mirror at least have two contacts. Guys, I had another email in reference to our time on this on Saturdays that is too long and had someone say it's too long. You're never going to get to where you want to go as far as subscribers is concerned doing hour long videos. Like, okay. Another negative Susan. And the next seasons, that might be right. I might not make it to 100,000 when they think I should make it, but I'll make it. It may be a lot longer than I want it to be, but I will make it. Or should I say we will make it? I have faith in y'all. I believe that if y'all know someone that um, could 
or a lot of channels that you would come on no don't do that to me it's gonna stick right there because that whole but anyway i know that you would um have them you know give them the information so they can become a family member So, as always, I tell them, if you don't want to watch all of it, just fast forward through it. Watch what you think you need to watch. And the rest of it, you don't have to. And there is other videos on this channel that are not an hour long. And you really don't want to get to know me as the as a YouTuber or... um friend, family member, whatever, because as I said, that's what we do on Saturdays. We get to talk to each other and see how everybody is doing. Um, you know, if prayer requests go out, we pray over each and there. We don't stop and pray there. You know, I may say a few prayer words, but everybody pray different. Everybody believe in something different. So I don't want to offend anybody by just, um, you know, doing the, the normal uh, prayer. So I let people mm, pray in their own accord, in their own way. Oh, I didn't know why I, was going, I got carried away with the, um, with it being the cordless. I forgot, I forgot I only have a certain amount of minutes before it, um... <laughs> Before it goes back cold. And I'm still squeezing and talking. Okay. And I guess since I'm waiting for it to. Warm up. I'm going to put a little bit of this. I'm going to go. Now guys. I know uh, a lot of you guys already know that I take. Um. Uh, a lot of different medications um, and some of the side effects of it is uh, real bad real bad dry mouth and it causes I I'm a certified dental assistant if you don't know that's what I retired from um, is being a certified dental assistant and I retired from there and I, I retired unwillingly because my body just said it couldn't do it anymore. And so um, I left dentistry. And my, I've always been a tooth, tooth, a tooth or teeth person. I always love to look at people's teeth and see how beautiful they are. Or even if they're not like perfectly straight or I just like to see the cleanness of teeth. I know that may sound crazy, but so when I got sick and had to start taking all this medicine and I got dry mouth, I was getting dry mouth real bad and I would take care of my teeth. I would brush, I would floss, I would do my fluoride, all that. Everything that the dentist prescribed for me. Did my night guard because I have TMJ problems. So I clench and, and grind my teeth. And so um, when my teeth started failing me, um, I got really depressed. And, and um, about, about 10 years ago, I got... A, a, a mouth makeover at, from the dentist that I was working at. Um, I had ten thousand dollars worth of work done, and I only had to pay nine hundred dollars. Cause if you was a dental assistant, all you had to pay is the lab fees, and my lab fees were nine hundred dollars. Um, and I got the smile that I've always wanted, so I was happy and. 
taking care of my teeth and and my beautiful smile. And then I went to the dentist and he says, you have several cavities. You have several cavities where you need an extraction and we got to give implants. And I was like, oh my God. I was literally crying. I was crying because I could not believe that I had cavities as much as I did clean my teeth. So, um, they, I had several teeth removed. I had implants put in, in certain spots. And, um, I had crowns, root canals and crowns done. Um, and so once again, I was happy. My mouth was back to par. Six months later, go back and it's more. Um, it's more cavities, more, it's more that no matter what they did, gave me the um, try and stuff didn't work. I still have more cavities. And so when COVID-19 hit, I had one implant in process and I had two crowns in process. And because COVID-19 hit, the VA wasn't allowing us to come to any appointments. And so um if you know anything about crowns if you have a temporary it's not hard it's not meant to be um had a whole lot of wear and tear on it so it messed up then um i started feeling um a hole behind the the um tooth that was prepped for a crown and so I'm back at the same issues again. So I called dental. I called dental. And they got me in. And now it's too much time has passed. And the crown is messed up. The area for the um the area for the implant is okay. Because um, I haven't started that yet. So, you know, that area was okay. So, they was like, well, we're going to send you to out or outside. We're going to outsource you. And what that means is I'll go to an outside dentist to get the work done. And he, and the dentist I went to, he was like, well, um, what I will recommend is um, a full mouth reconstruction, upper and lower. And he said, but cut because you have dry mouth, I'm scared to do it because um they it might it might not work and you might start getting more um decay in those areas. You know what guys, this is gonna be just like the the tin one that we did with the glue stuff on the other side and stuff, but it's all right. Um, I want to show you guys what it kind of looks like. And it's going to be light. But I want to try to get it up some. And it's not going to be real stable right now. Because like I said, we need to put some sticks behind it. If I'm going to be able to do this by myself.
Tiana, come here. No more outside, okay? Okay. But that's not what I call you for. I call you to help me turn this over. Okay. But you got to stay out. Wait, wait. Don't get too happy. You can't just snatch it up. Okay, I need for you to come over here on this side. No. Yeah, I'm still alive. Come on, because it's already after. Here, pick it, pick it. Uh-uh, use both hands. Pick that side. Pick it up like this. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. No, wait, wait, wait. Just let me get it. Let me get it. Where's the book? Oh, there it is. Hi. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes, mommy loves you. Thank you. Okay, so it's done. We flipped it over. I just got to clean it up. And that is how long it is right there to here. So all the way here. It's over three feet long. It's going to be probably about four feet long when I finish with it. And you will see it on the wall when the room is finished. So I love you guys. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe um, and enter in the giveaway. Yeah, yeah. At whom, whomever you know as a, some, a friend, family. You know, if you want your daughter, your sister, your son, anybody to go in there and put, you know, and... and how many other people in your household and they fix the YouTube channel and they subscribe to the channel, then that's an entry. And that's more chances for you to win. Um, it's not cheating or anything um, because you're going to stay a family member. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're not going to just do this because as we rise in numbers, um, the prizes that we give out are going to rise as well. Like I said, when we reach 100,000, I have a Cricut Explorer I'm going to give away. Um, so that's the next giveaway is the Cricut Explorer. And it might be something else. I might do a Cricut Explorer and I may do an iPad or iPad Mini or something to that nature. Um, I can't have you go on your channel and do the magic trick. That way, when they go subscribe to your channel, they can see the magic trick. Doesn't that sound more, uh, huh? more better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So guys, so guys, um, uh, I'm going to close this video off, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to the moon and back and right. back again. I am going to put the um. After I get it sturdy, I'm going to put the, um, 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 the, no, 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 which kind of the, shh, a napkin ring, the napkin rings behind it, so I can put the, um, so I can put the lights behind it, and so you will see it then, so guys, enjoy the rest of your evening, thank you for hanging out with me, and once again, I love you guys. I love you. 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 Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.